Something that holds a lot of us back from doing the things we want to do is the fear of being judged. And I think that's the case for most people. Like we've all got something that we're scared of being judged or criticized for. Whether it's how we look, how we are as people, where we work, how we dress. And personally, I think most of these insecurities stem from the value we give to other people's opinions. Let me just walk back and collect my camera now. Because I think the minute we put other people's thoughts and opinions about us on a pedestal and we start giving them more value than the value of what we think of ourselves, we become subject to changing our actions or behaviors in order to become more appealing to public opinion. And this could be a massive hindrance in allowing us to find ourselves and explore our full potential. And one of my fears for the longest time has been filming myself in public. I don't know what it is, but it just... I don't know what it is, but it just scares me. Like just holding a big ass camera around, walking around, talking to it like a madman, that mostly just comes from my fear of being judged by other people. And I think the only way to overcome that is literally just by doing it, as I have been trying for the past hour. I spent like an hour trying to make this intro and it's probably gonna be like 20, 30 seconds. And most of it is because I just felt so uncomfortable. I was trying to find like the emptiest place to start like filming my intro, explain what the video is about. I just need to convince my brain that it's actually not that deep. No one cares. And if anything, it's arrogant of me to assume that I'm relevant enough for people to look at me and care about what I'm doing. And so basically what I've done is I've set myself a bunch of challenges that I have to complete by the end of this video. The first thing I wanted to challenge myself to do was record myself in public, but I'm already doing that. So that's one down, one complete, one green light. Add the green light right there. Actually, I don't even need to add one in. I'm just gonna use the traffic light. Oh, okay, I was gonna say I'm gonna use the traffic light because I had a green light, but now it's not green anymore. Next challenge I set for myself is to eat by myself in a restaurant. Can't like that's another thing that just makes me a bit uncomfortable. I don't like doing it. It's not nice. I don't know why, but that's something that I've always just struggled with. I'll see people doing it and I'm thinking, how do you actually do this? Like, what do you do? What do you even, what do you do in between? like chewing and the only way really to get over your fear of being judged by other people is to put yourself in situations where you're open to being judged me for example i don't like filming in public in front of other people no one cares literally no one cares well i think no one i hope no one cares guys do you care does anyone here care Another thing I find so awkward and uncomfortable is asking strangers to film or take pictures of me. I don't know why, I just find it uncomfortable. Uh, excuse me, is it okay to film me quickly? Just hold the camera. Yeah, like that. And what better place to do this than in Tokyo? The most populated, busiest city in the world with over 37 million people. And my friend over here, what's your name? Skar. Skar, thank you. Appreciate that. You, know, you have to spot me like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't like that, it was uncomfortable for me. That's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. I just try to put myself in situations that I find uncomfortable and force myself to work through them. Do you know what? I think being in areas where you're supposed to be going with friends or you're supposed to be going with a bunch of people and going there alone is always like it's a bit scary because it's like what are you doing here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go to the arcade by myself there's an arcade over here i'm just gonna go in and see if i can have fun on my own and see if anyone looks at me like i'm a weirdo all right so we've got seven floors um i'm gonna try to go to the seventh floor guys i'm in the lift now yeah I'm scared. Let me be honest with you, adrenaline is helping me a lot out right now. I feel like once the adrenaline runs out, I'm gonna be back to being scared. But anyways, here's the seventh floor. Here we are. All right, so what am I supposed to be playing today? There's some car games there. Bruv, this looks so sick, but I won't know how to play this. You're literally a pilot, bro. Look at this. I need some water or something though, I can't lie. My mouth is dry from the nerves. All right, so I'm gonna try this one. Like everything is in Japanese, I don't know why I was pressing, I just kept pressing OK. Oh, no filming! Apparently, I'm not allowed to film in here. Apparently, this is where we start the game. Guys, I won the level. <laughs> You basically said I am now the king of the mountain. Oh, the spare game is here. These are all too good at this game. I, know, I think a lot of these games are way above my pay grade or my skill level. Most of them just look too difficult to play. Oh, gambling machine. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and find somewhere to eat. The roads are always so packed when you're across all my days. You know where I should go? I should go to Shibuya Crossing, which is apparently the busiest road crossing in the world. I'm gonna go there and try and film there and see how awkward it is. Like a billion people. Apparently it's like a giant zebra crossings and they all kind of like go across each other and you just have people crossing the road from like five different directions. Bro, I was gonna get food. I'll just walk in. Guess what I just seen? Bloody cat cafe, bro. I've never been inside a cat cafe in my life, so I'm gonna go to this one. The cafe is on the second floor. Do I just do this? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry, English. Language. Huh? Spanish. Oh, they don't have Spanish. Okay. Okay, what can you not do? You can't hold them. You can't use a flash. Don't give them human food or drink. Damn, I have to keep my burger in my shoe now. Don't chase the cat. What am I doing here? I've got to change the slippers as well. Where do we put the shoes? Oh, in the locker? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I think I wore them the wrong way around. It looks a bit funky. Lock. Hey, these shoes are a bit mad, bro. Look at these. I look like Aladdin. This makes me feel important as well. Oh, we've got a nice little... I don't know what this is. Is this a makeup room? Is this where you do your makeup so you can impress all the cats? We've got vending machines here. Do I just go in? Uh, all you ah. can drink. Free drink. Ah, okay. Thank okay. you, thank you. I don't know what I'm getting. Are you getting a coffee? I'm indecisive. It's going to take me a minute. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's too many colors. You just close your eyes. I'm gonna do the cold strawberry thing. Got 20 seconds left. It's like a vending machine microwave. What do I do? Just push the button. Where's the button? <laughs> it's done now. So you can just... Oh, I can open it. Oh, why did it say push button? There we go. Ah, oh, this is cool. All right, do you want to taste our drinks together and see if oh, we yes, made the right choice? Absolutely. All right, we're doing a. Are you streaming or something? No, no, I'm making a video. Oh, okay. What's your name? Lauren. Hey. And what did you get? I got a royal milk tea. Royal milk tea. All right, I got a strawberry cold drink. All right, three, two, one. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Am I allowed to go now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh look. Wait, I don't know how silent I'm supposed to be. There's a lot of cats, I'm a bit overwhelmed. And there's bear man inside and everyone's looking at me. This is actually kind of scary. Oh, hello. They sensed my positive aura and energy. This guy's big, bro. Hello. These are bear fluffy. This guy's so cute. Where is it is like that? Are they inside out? Do you think they know that they're being used for money? Like people are paying to just come and see them and touch them. I've got a problem. I don't know which one I'm in. They kiss these. Oh, look at that. This guy's conked. Nah, these are getting disturbed of their sleep, bro. And now they're forcing them. They're like, no, go and make us some money. Oh no, this is so sad. They got toys for them as well in the corner. Okay, let's see. Do you like this one? Right, let's see if you like this one. He's just not interested. What I'm gonna try to do here is make this lazy one play. That's my mission for the day. This one hasn't moved since I came inside. We're gonna try and uplift his spirit. No! Wait, boys, I'm sorry I dropped my camera, man. What if he doesn't like the toys? What if I make you interested in a phone? Let's create a new game for the guy. There we go. See, now the game is more fun, isn't it? Yeah, you did it. Mission accomplished. Come on, go on, go on. You got this. Yes, well done. At least we made him do something. That guy was the laziest one there. With big ass legs, bro. All right, let's move on to the next cat. Come on, Jacob. Look at Jacob. He's learning some new tricks. I'm going to try to teach him how to do a backflip next. All right, all right, all right, all right. You want to get involved. I know you want to get involved. Look at this guy. He's, he's been watching. He wants to get involved, but he's too shy. We need to... Oh, no, he's not too shy. I think he just doesn't want to play with him. Come on, both at the same time. Okay, three, two, one. Okay. Do you want to, go, do you want to see the camera? Why are you getting shy? His camera is shy. He's got big paws. What size? 10 feet. Oh. Hey. His agility training. Oh look, another one's joined the chat. Oh, I think it's time to go before I get charged. Once again, no clue who slides or who's. Alright, I'm done with the cat cafe now. Now I need to find somewhere to eat. And wow, look at that. There's some place with food here. Okay, so what we got here is... And what we got here is... And what we got here. Okay, let me just scout the area first. So the people that work in there are looking at me. So already my heart rate has increased by like 32 million. So they got like a square table. They've got seats all around. There's a few people in there. Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult. Why am I scared? You know, I'm just stalling. I'm pretending to look at the menu, but it's because I'm just scared to go inside. Doesn't matter. Here it is. This is the place. Oh, just the button. I think you order here. Eat in here. I have no idea what to get. I'm just going to get a small tempura set meal and then eat money. You're going to eat mommy money. All right, so I'm going to sit in this little corner. Like, this doesn't feel that deep. I've got the food cards here. Apparently, it's like a boarding pass for your dinner. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna wait for my food now. Alright, guys, my food has arrived. I got some rice, got some miso soup, some. I don't know what that is. What is this? Is this peas? I think these are peas. I don't know what this is. Fried cauliflower. These are fried prawns, and that's fried something else. And then this is spinach, I think. Alright, let me taste this munch and see what it's saying. First up, I don't know where to begin. Got my katanas right here. How are you supposed to drink soup with chopstick? I'm gonna have to do that like a million times to finish half of it. Wait, this is very nice, what the hell? I right, apparently these are the peas. I'm saying peas, I don't know what it is. Oh, they are. Peas in a pod. All right, what's next? I don't know what this is. It's like fried tree. I think it's a mushroom. That one's all right. This prawn is so nice. All right, I think this is a scallop. This is very nice. I don't, know, I don't know what this stuff is. I don't like that. This could either be a cauliflower or monster's crisp. I don't know what it is, but crunchy. All right, guys, I think I taste, oh no, finished thing. What is this? That looks like onion skin. Let me try this. What is that? It tastes fishy. But right. Oh, the miso soup. I'm not a fan. It just tastes very watery. It tastes like hot water. It's not for me. But anyways, I'm going to finish my food and move on to the next thing. I don't know what I'm doing next. I'm going to go to the busiest crossing in the whole world. And hopefully I don't faint from the amount of people there. Okay, I just left the restaurant now. I can't lie. It wasn't that deep. I think I just catastrophized it in my head. Look at this old game shop. It's got PlayStation 1. This is a relic. This is like gaming archaeology. Uh, they got FIFA 90 zero. What is this? Japanese FIFA. Wait, what device do you even plug this in? This looks like a battery. They got all the Dragon Ball games as well. I want to buy a game boy. Guys, help me decide what drink to get. What? Did I hear a minute made blackcurrant drink? No, I didn't. I'm going to get this one. I always get so excited when I get these drinks. All right, let me taste uh, this drink and see if it's actually nice. This is a, um, I don't know, it just says dessert. 
And it's a dessert drink. Oh, hey, this is disgusting. Actually, let me change my answer. It's nice, but the texture is not nice. What is going on? Ambulance. Someone got eaten by a crocodile. Anyways, I'm gonna make my way now to the busiest crossing in the world and just show you lot what it is and see if I feel uncomfortable there or not. This drink is not nice, bro. Me holding my camera right now, I can't lie, I'm scared. This is done. You know, I'm forcing my hand. My hand wants to just go back down. I'm forcing it to just stay up. I'm a little bit intimidated by how many people there are, but I'm not going to be. It's not that deep. It's actually not that deep. Everyone's chilling here, yeah? People are going to look, but realistically, they don't actually care. No one here cares. Oh my God, putting my hand up higher and putting the camera higher is scarier than putting it here. I don't know why. What is this fear? It seems so irrational. Cause I, I'll actually do this and my heart starts beating a bit. What is this noise? What is this noise? Okay, I think there's like an indoors bit there. That's what I'm gonna try to walk through. There we go. We found a little entrance here. Okay, so now there's people either side of me. I'm just gonna walk. This feels like a catwalk. This feels like a catwalk. Cause it's like a corridor down the middle and then just bare people. Okay, you know what? I'm only gonna look at the lens because every time I look around, I notice people looking at me and it makes me feel a bit more uneasy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look at the lens. It's just me and my camera. That didn't work, I'm still nervous. I think it's meant to be like a little like road, but like they converted it into like bare different restaurants and stuff. Looks kind of cool. Oh look, they got shield keg as well. We're almost there, I've nearly finished the end of it. Okay, time to get out, time to leave, it's time to leave. Please. I was so scared that doors are gonna open. So I wanted to quickly just add like, when I'm saying like this stuff makes me nervous and uncomfortable, I'm not exaggerating. I know a lot of people are like comfortable with filming themselves in public, like holding the camera and stuff. Me, I don't know what's wrong with my brain, but I don't like it at all. And even like my brain, it just feels like my brain stops working as well. When I'm just filming like this in public with people, I feel like I can't even think properly. Like I'm just saying stuff. I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh my God, I'm reaching it. This is the busiest crossing in the world. Let me show you lot how many people are waiting to cross this road here. Yeah? This is just one side of the road. Let me show you lot the other side. And you got bare people on that side as well, on that side, on that side. So we're all going to war and we're just waiting for each other. Everyone's just waiting for the other side to attack first. This is so packed. Oh no, I dropped my airport. Come back here, please. <laughs> You'd think this is carnival, bruv. This is just people trying to cross the road. Should I put my camera on the ground? Anyway, I'm going into here now. I don't really know what this is, but Ikea, what? Why is there an Ikea here? Hello, how are you guys doing? Where are you from? London, where are you from? London, oh shit. That's sick, bro. Is that okay? Where are you from? I'm from Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, we got a new subscriber. Look at that. Let's go. We're going to have 300 Here we go. Here we go. What brings you to Japan? Guys, look, this is my channel. There we go. How's your backflip? How's yours? I do a little backflip. Go on. If you do it with me. What's your name? Joey Chaotic. All right, you're doing a backflip now, yeah? Ow. Okay, let's find a good frame for you. All right, so we got Joey Chaotic. He's gonna do a backflip. Can I do a cheat gainer instead of a backflip? What's a cheat gainer? He's gonna do a cheat gainer. I don't know what this is. Right, are you ready? Are you ready? Right, right here, fine. <laughs> do you want a little perimeter? I'll do a cheat gainer. Oh, that, looks, that seems like it's harder than a backflip. I'm gonna learn that next. I tried learning how to do a, um, a cheat gainer in one day. You know what, Shai? Oh my God, see this place, why Why is it so bright? This is like my mom's phone on 900 million percent brightness. I think this whole video is kind of just to say that if there's something that you actually wanna, that you genuinely enjoy and you wanna pursue, then go for it. Like I knew I enjoyed making content. I found it fun, I found it enjoyable. But when I first started, I kind of had to force myself because I was genuinely so shook of people I knew finding my content. Like I was embarrassed. But now looking back, if I'd actually given into the fear of potentially being judged by what like the two to three hundred people that I knew in real life who knew me from school or work or university or whatever I would not have reached the hundreds of thousands of people here and the millions of people across all platforms with content that I enjoyed making like that just would not have happened so I think this video is kind of a message to both myself and everyone else to just get out of our comfort zones and I'm still working on this I can't lie like you saw today like I'm, I'm genuinely uncomfortable with filming myself in public like right now I can't lie I'm still feel I'm still feeling a bit uneasy but compared to this morning I feel like I've improved I like, don't let anyone make you feel like it's cringe or it's a bit wet to be doing anything just be kind to yourself love yourself enough to give yourself the freedom to explore the things that you want to explore without letting the discomfort of putting yourself in a position where you're open to potentially being judged by other people stop you from doing the things that you want to do but if i want to make a video on this encouraging other people to do it then obviously i need to start with myself and genuinely i can't lie today i was uncomfortable the whole i don't think there was one point where i felt comfortable like even now there's still people like walking here and then they'll just turn around to look at what i'm doing and it's like i know they don't care i know it's not that deep but it still makes me feel uncomfortable but that's something that i want to work on and that's something that i am going to continuously work on i think one thing
one thing that helps me a lot in being more comfortable outside of my comfort zone is starting with myself because a lot of the time like we just automatically judge people like you see someone walking past you see someone doing something and automatically your brain will make an assumption about them or it'll come to a certain conclusion about their personality or how they are as people or whatever are we supposed to be comfortable putting ourselves in positions where we're open to being judged if we're being judgmental ourselves we're never going to be comfortable i feel like the most judgmental people are the most insecure people because they think that the way they're viewing everyone else is how everyone views them and it's not true basically my point is the more of an active effort you make on trying to reduce how much you judge people the more you start to become comfortable being in a position where you can be judged but yeah me personally if i did not make that first video and i remember that first video that i made i was so uncomfortable if i did not make that first video i would not be here right now like literally i would not be standing here right now that just i don't think that would have happened but yeah i think that's the end of this thank you guys so much for watching uh, i feel like most of my content is basically entertainment but i think that's the end of this i hope you did enjoy it and um yeah anyways i'm gonna leave my camera there i lied i lied i'm gonna get my camera I'm just gonna do my intro here. I'm so nervous right now, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm nervous. But I'm not lying here yeah, when I say that I have been walking around for about 20 minutes now trying to find the perfect spot for me to do the intro of this video. Which is ironic because the whole point of this video is me getting over my fear of being judged. And the reason why I'm walking so much is because I don't want to film in front of other people. You know what, Bunny, I'm just gonna do it at this bus stop, I don't care.